Hello everybody, I am gonna take you through how to effectively trigger off sales. Oh, and the opt-in before that. Sales, opt-ins, order bumps, and upsells. I'm gonna take you through it, I'm gonna show you um, in the funnel and then in the actual workflow, we're looking into high level, go high level, whatever you wanna call it, and how to actually do that effectively. Um, we're gonna jump straight into it, um, so let's get going. I'm gonna make my head a bit smaller and drag it down here. So I'm just here in a funnel, uh, and uh, this is just a test account. So we're just gonna load up a funnel. So we need to have a funnel with our one step or two step um, order form here. Um, we're gonna just go through the two step, but it works just as well on the one step, except you, you don't quite have the same opt-in. So I'm just gonna come uh, in, in here. I'm gonna add a, a one column element. We're gonna scroll down and at the bottom, we're gonna get a two step order form. Now, I am not gonna go through um, setting up the two-step order form, but what I would say is when you got se it selected and you want to change things and you can't find where to do it, a lot of it is over in the advanced. So come over here, for instance, if you don't want company name, boom, you can get rid of that and you can set all of this up. But we need to have this. Now let me just move my head up here a little bit. Uh, if I scroll down um, here, we can enable our order bump if we want an order bump. So we can turn the order bump on and we hit our add a bump product. Now, this is a test account, so I don't have a product and I'll take you through in a second where we um, get these products in and then you can type all your stuff there. But we'll turn that off and then if we scroll um, down here, what happens on a sales action, we can make sure we get all of that there. So if you've got products set up, they will also automatically come into here. You don't have to do anything on this page, but if you want the order bump, then we need to come over here, enable order bump, add our bump product, uh, and select uh, any info that we're gonna put in for our order bump. So we need to have this set up, we need to have this going. Now, let me be very clear what happens here. Um, so when we're on our uh, step one, so, and let's, uh, let's turn off um, some of these things. Let's just turn off shipping to make this easier to see. So we have step one. This is what uh, High Level calls opt-in, and then step two, this is the actual sale, and this is where if you've got one product, it will list. If you've got three products, it will list. So let's assume that what we're doing here is we're getting people to opt in, uh, and it's a plumber, and they're booking an annual inspection. And they're booking an annual inspection, and they're gonna come through into step two, annual inspection, and let's say it's $99, uh, for the sake of argument. Um, and then we're gonna have an, an order bump um, that, we, that we're gonna have turn on, and, uh, and the order bump is a a plunger. Do you want a plunger um, for it? You know, plunger. Do you want us to bring the an, an awesome plunger? It's uh, a super good plunger for only ten bucks or whatever we want to select it on. Um, this isn't going to show properly right now because I don't actually have any products set set up. Um, so that we, we're gonna complete all that, have our order bump. Now, while we're all here, let me, let, me, uh, let me hit save. I'm gonna jump to page two because what I also want to show you when we come to page two is the upsell. So we've looked at setting up the initial part for the opt-in, so that was step one. Um, the actual uh, sale, which is where they, where they put their payment details in, that's all step two. Uh, uh, um, and then we've got the, the, the order bump, but now let's look at an upsell. So I'm just gonna come here and I am gonna put in a button, which I just scrolled past. And then on the button, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna uh, link it. We need to have uh, one click um, up and down sell. So now, I one click button. Now we have to select our product again, which again, I don't have, but if you already set up your products, they will be here and then you select whatever the product is for the upsell. So, and um, let's just make this clear, um, upsell product. And literally, once you've selected that, all they do is click this, and let's say your upsell is 1,500 bucks. Uh, 1,500 bucks for total house declogging. Uh, they literally click this, they have to enter their credit card again, they don't have to do anything. So what we normally do is not everyone takes the upsell, right? So what we, um, normally do is you know put a little thing you know no thanks I don't want this awesome product so you they can still go to the thank you page without doing it and then of course you um, you hyperlink this to um, 
the um, thank you page.com. Okay, there you go. And so they can come and click that instead if they don't actually want it. And of course you have your sales stuff and all that sort of thing. So there we go, that's um, that's all done. Now, where do we put our products? Okay, so we've got our two pages here. We would then have a thank you page as a third page. So I'm here on this first page, which has got our two-step checkout. So you come to products here. This is where you, you, you put it, add a product, uh, and you can um, put all your product info here. Actually, this is a, a version one funnel. Let's hit the, hit the um, uh, I can't upgrade because I haven't got Stripe connected. So what, what you will end up doing when you've got the um, uh, Stripe um, connected and, and there on a version two funnel, which is all the new funnels that are created, you come into payments, you come into products, um, and um, again, you come in here and you can't see it now, but you come in here and you go through this, you need to have Stripe connected first, and then you go through this and you will then be able to have products. Once you've got products there, um, you will then be able to come back into here. Let me move um, where we're at. You'll then be able to come back in. You'll be able to find those products here and you'll be able to um, add, add those products in. So you've got that. Now you need to do them per page. This is the thing. So remember that the, um, so you're gonna make sure um, that that you've got the uh, products here and then on page two, this is where you add the product for your uh, upsell. So add the product for your upsell here. Um, so you've got to add them per page, not just per funnel. Okay, so now we've got that taken care of. Let's come to automation. Uh, and we're just gonna create a workflow and we're gonna start from scratch. Okay, so this one is um, opt-in. So add new trigger. Okay, so I'm gonna type in order form. So order form submission. Okay, order form submission. And we'll look at our filter. So we're gonna pick our funnel. And our funnel was test. Then we're gonna we're gonna filter it further. Now if you want to, you can do page. If you've got multiple different, if it's complicated, you can do page. But in this instance, we don't need to do page. Um, but we are gonna go for submission type. And we're gonna go for opt-in here, opt-in. So this is when they fill out step one. Um, why are we triggering off this? Because now um, we can uh, um, start an abandoned cart workflow. So if we do a wait step, so we're putting everyone in here. We're gonna wait 30 minutes. It's always good practice to label it up here. We're gonna wait 30 minutes um, and then we're gonna send an email um, to them saying, um, oi, you, we got to purchase, come back. Uh, and it probably isn't gonna let me save it without completing everything, here we go. Um, so there, we got opt-in, opt-in one. Now everybody's in this, so everybody's gonna get this. But don't worry, people that complete step two, we're gonna come and take them out. Because here, let's create our next one. Create workflow. Okay, so this is gonna be sale. So remember, we're gonna to go to order, order form submission. So let's go find our funnel, it was test. And then this time we're gonna do submission type, which is sale. Okay, we're gonna save that. And then now check this out. I'm gonna type in remove, so I can remove from workflow. I'm gonna get another workflow. And what did we call that one? Opt-in, here we go, opt-in. So most people that buy are just gonna come straight through that first one. They'll be added to it in the background, but they won't know it. And as soon as they buy, we take them back out. So now on the sale, we can, we can send them an, an, an email. Thanks, thanks for your, your order. Um, we'll um, send it as planned. Okay, so they're gonna get an email. Now, we probably want to do a internal notification. Let's um, notify ourselves. Ching, ching, you got a sale. And then we can say uh, contact, full name, just paid you a billion dollars for toilet cleaning. And then we've got to scroll down here, we select our redirect page, let's take it to the opportunity, because we're gonna do that. 
and uh, select all users and we'll save that so everyone gets to know that you've got some some money and then you can do whatever else that you um, need to do <coughs> with that okay now let's do our order bump so let's create a new workflow here we go and um, so this is called bump and again we are going to just type in order to get to it quickly here we go and we're going to do in our funnel which was called test and then we're going to do submission type and this was bump okay so we got bump in there um, and so now we're going to um, uh, we're going to do a we're going to do a, a notification and this time let's do an email and we're going to do all users uh, new bump uh, don't forget to take a plunger for uh, that person because they took the bump to get the plunger so we we'll need to make sure that we notify ourselves that that's happening okay and do whatever maybe we'll probably maybe send a, an, an email to them say hey we also noticed you're gonna you wanted a plunger so we'll, we'll get that and maybe we'll do a different opportunity to put them in the bump or we'll tag them as having taken the bump um, all that kind of uh, good stuff you can do and now lastly let's take the upsell uh, and here we go uh, upsell and here so remember we're going to order and we'll just do our filters quickly. Uh, here we go. So in our test funnel, and then the submission type is upsell. And so now we'll you know send them an email um, saying um, awesome. Thanks for picking up our super upsell you know and again we can do our internal notifications and our opportunities and you know all of that good stuff to make sure we all know that they took the upsell that we're updating the correct values in the opportunities for the pipeline um, all of that good stuff but there is the upsell when they when they take it um, and stuff like that as well and of course you can trigger off um, knowing that people didn't take an upsell um, if you want to say um, so if you wanted to chase them up saying, hey, I noticed you didn't pick up our $1,500 um, package. Uh, um, we've actually still got this um, on sale for the next um, you know, 24 hours. Um, email me back if you want me to add that to your account and you know, stuff like that. You can, you can do all of that. So you know, if you were to put a tag, if they had an upsell, um, so for instance, let's do, let's do one more. Let's say we added a tag if they're, um, wasn't an upsell um, then let's create a new workflow we can go no upsell um, and then we can trigger off contact tag um, uh, uh, added and if they have a, a certain tag added then this can this can trigger so um, we can we can add a tag and we can remove tags and we can do uh, we can also do if if they have a certain tag do this so we could we could add people in so contact details and then you scroll down here tags uh, tag tag include so if tag includes website prospect because I don't have the other tags we can go one way if they don't the other way so for instance you could put a wait step you could then see if they've got this tag um, and and base that off the um, off the sale wait to see if they take the upsell and if not you can go down here so in that case we wouldn't do it with that tag instead um, we would go um, we would do the same order order form submission and just do it off the sale because you only want to do it off the sale test and then submission type is a sale because they don't take the upsell then we'll put a wait and we'll wait for uh, 30 minutes we'll, we'll wait for 30 minutes then we'll look for the tag and if they have the upsell tag 
then we just drop them out. If they don't have the upsell tag, that's when we can send them that email. Um, so we can work off there. So I hope that is useful. I hope that takes you through uh, how we can work and get uh, get everyone set up for making sure um, that whatever the sale type is, and there's much more advanced strategies and stuff, but this is the basics. This is good enough for 90% of, of, of cases out there. So you can now uh, set up and then fire off the opt-in, the opt-in on the two-step order form. You can then fire off the actual sale. You can then fire off the order bump and you can fire off the upsell. Then if you're clever and you use tags, you can also see if people do or do not take the order bump and fire off based on that. You can see if people do or do not take the upsell and fire off based on that as well. And you can actually go further and you can have multiple upsells and work on all that stuff if you need to. But this is the basics. We're um, pushing 16 minutes into the video, so I'm gonna stop it there. If this is useful, please, like the video, drop a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, all of that good stuff. That would be useful. That would help uh, us out. We've got lots of great uh, content coming up. Uh, and good luck with it. Any problems, any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll take care of you and we'll get that sorted out. Uh, and have an awesome day.